If we could produce parts on demand where and when we need them, where the warfighter is, where they're needed for repair, we could enhance our operational readiness. With the 3D printer, it just it keeps layering the ink in a certain pattern so that it just eventually builds the parts. There's just some parts we can't make, and then there's the speed that it could take, because if we mess up fabricating a part, then we got to start over nine out of ten times, whereas you make it once, you save the file, you don't got to even think about what you're doing, you just open it up, push print. You could think about things like printing ammunition, warheads in the weapons arena, you know, there's some great potential there. There's discussions of printing in uh, different materials like cloth and, you know, metals. It kind of lets us just do whatever we want because there's not really like any limitations. Like when I'm working with metal, there's only so much I can do with the machines because it's either gonna spin it and make something round and you know turn it down into a fitting. But with this, you could just pretty much design whatever you want. Or we have that, the scanner, and you can scan anything and then it's there. In taking a process in a subtractive piece where we're actually whittling away metal to make a part, I might have to make each one of those parts independently and then I put them all together where in the additive manufacturing world, I can make that part as one piece and that not have all the waste that I would typically have in a traditional uh, manufacturing process. One of the, the biggest things in the broad sense of how it could have an impact is as we increase these capabilities on board, um, it really reduces our dependence on the supply chain, which just really expands the horizons on what we could potentially do. If we can get to that point where we can actually have the manufacturing happening on board, it would significantly reduce the amount of you know, resupply that we would need. It should have a direct impact on the amount of fuel that's used. I think you need to have a ship that can support itself in case something goes down. You gotta be able to bring it back. That's pretty much our whole goal.